This demo video is showing the integration between AWS Guard Duty and EC2 with Cortex XSOAR. Here I've got a website running, it's just an example website up in AWS EC2, and access to this website is done over just port 80, which is an insecure port. So Guard Duty is going to detect that this port is open and available. And then it'll notify XSOR uh, of that scenario and then auto assign an uh, analyst and then the analyst can take some action via email. Uh, instead of waiting for guard duty to detect this open port, I'm just going to simulate that by generating some sample findings, one of which would be an unprotected port. And so you can see there's 56 findings that uh, Cortex XSOR through the integration would then pull for and then ingest each of them as incidents within XSOR. So here you can see my XSOR environment. I currently have zero incidents. And as I refresh this, we'll begin to see some of those incidents appear from guard duty. And then one of them will be automatically assigned to uh, the analyst, which is me. So we'll just refresh this uh, and wait for those incidents to begin to populate. There we go. So 23 so far, do it again, 41. Eventually we'll hit the, the 56. Uh, here you can see that incidents have been assigned by user Mitch, so I can open this up. And here you can see there's this unprotected port. Also Mitch, the analyst has received some messages about this. So let's open up this specific incident, right? And we have a work plan, right? That is in process waiting for a user to respond. So this work plan is a playbook that was triggered when this incident was detected. Now, you just heard that sound. That was the analyst, me, receiving an email, which is one of the steps to find in this playbook. So here you can see when the playbook gets triggered by detection of the open port, it assigns an analyst, which is Mitch, sets context, so which port was open, updates a field, starts an SLA timer, and then it sends a notification to that analyst what do you want to do in response to this incident? So you can see this is currently the step we're at. Now, if I go check my email, I've got these emails from XSource. The first one says that uh, an incident has been assigned to me, and I can click this link and go in and view the incident. Uh, the incident was updated, so every time that incident uh, uh, went through the playbook and had some change happen to it, we get an update, like adding the context of what port was open and then setting the timer. Right, and then it says this playbook is now stopped waiting on response from the analyst. And so the response is this. So this is the email that was sent to the analyst. Do you want to close access to this unprotected port 80? Um, I could say no, and it would whitelist this port. Or I could say yes, and then it's going to send me over to Cortex XSOR for confirmation of that action. And I'll go ahead and say confirm. Go ahead and ignore this uh, field error here. But I can come back and look at the playbook now says it's done, right? So this step was satisfied. And if we want to see the results, let me just refresh, see if I can get to my web server. Uh-oh. It's going to spin and spin and ultimately time out. Now, if I come look at my EC2 ingress rules, let me just refresh this page, and you'll see that this HTTP rule has been removed by Cortex XSOR. So now there's only this form of access remaining. Uh, so that's how you can use Cortex XSOR and uh, integration with EC2 and AWS Guard Duty. Oh, and now that that's been finished, I got an email saying that uh, you know the the event has essentially been done, or we've got a new event, something else that I got to go dig into. Another port is being probed. So an analyst job is never done.